My name is Pascal Chazot. I'm the uh, current Vice President uh, International Affairs of the uh, Association des Instituts Carnot, the Carnot uh, Institute Association that represents and coordinates uh, the activities of the 34 uh, Carnot Institutes uh, in France. Precision medicine uh, certainly has as many definitions as many people you can uh, answer. Uh, to me, precision medicine is uh, conveying the right drug that will have the uh, right effect, meaning efficacy and the lowest uh, toxicity possible to those patients who have the right profile uh, for this uh, drug administration. We have had uh, many projects over the years uh, that could uh, correspond to uh, precision medicine. Uh, a long time ago, uh, the LISA Academy Group, which is part of our Cano Institute, CALIM, uh, studied with, um, uh, with other uh, academy groups in the world, defining some pro prognostic indices. Uh, that was probably the beginning of uh, uh, stratification of patients in our clinical trials. And that can go uh, up to uh, in silico uh, clinical research. And in between, uh, the use of uh, the growing use of biomarkers to stratify uh, those patients according uh, to uh, their profile, is in particular the genetic profile, uh, is uh, a growing uh, uh, a factor in what we define as precision medicine, where we could add on many other uh, aspects. For me, these are, these are or these have been the main uh, aspects uh, we've been involved in. One of those French-US collaborations we are very proud uh, of, uh, amongst many others, are uh, certainly those collaborations we have developed with uh, Segin, which is a US-based company, uh, a leader in the oncohematology field uh, within my own institute, uh, Kalim. Uh, currently, we have a portfolio of around 10 trials ongoing, some big international registration, registration trials, some smaller uh, studies, a number of uh, non-clinical works that are ongoing or in project. And uh, this was not obvious. You know that uh, uh, besides common roots, uh, French and American culture are somewhat different. But I think that in the field of medicine, we have much more uh, uh, things in common than differences. And uh, the success, I think, has be, uh, uh, was based since the beginning uh, upon uh, confidence and uh, the openness to a non-European uh, company to a European model. The five ways, and there are probably even more uh, uh, collaborating with the uh, Carnot Institutes, um, are uh, first, I would say, expertise. I mean, uh, those 34 Carnot Institutes are uh, uh, all uh, uh, institutions with uh, a deep uh, expertise and experience in a scientific domain. And uh, uh, first, the first contact usually is that with our experts. So we can provide expertise as a first way of uh, collaboration. At the end of the day, what we are looking for is establishing uh, uh, partnerships research and development research and innovation partnerships and that would probably be the most common way we interact with uh, companies uh, in the US and elsewhere. Um, other um, collaborations where uh, which are diverse again can be uh, uh, shared uh, labs. We have um, common labs with a number of companies between uh, um, French state funded uh, uh, institutions and uh, companies in the US and elsewhere on a defined uh, topic. Um, collaborative projects, uh, uh, your government, uh, uh, French government, uh, the European institutions uh, front through a number of call for projects, uh, R&D uh, projects. Uh, in which we, we are seeing the opportunities for uh, French and U.S. Uh, uh, public uh, research uh, organizations or uh, private uh, ones 
collaborating with the same, uh, around the same goal. And that's very uh, interesting and growing uh, ways for us of collaborating. Within the uh, Carnot Institute network, we have our own consortium devoted to human healthcare called the Global Care Initiative. Uh, we recently uh, decided to have um, to be represented in Boston and in the Boston uh, city area, uh, including Cambridge, of course, just because we are talking uh, of the biggest bio cluster in the world. So that made a lot of sense. So currently we have one people, one uh, uh, business developer here in place, and we uh, count on her uh, to help us developing a, a close relationship. With a member of the uh, with the members of the bio cluster, not only companies but also research institutions such as uh, the MIT, the Harvard Medical School, and, and and many others. The best outcome of uh, our presentation here today, at least as far as I'm concerned, as uh, the vice president of the uh, Cano Institutes Association and also as the general manager of one of these institutes, would be that when you think uh, public research in France. Uh, 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 international uh, leaders in some defi uh, defined uh, 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 therapeutic areas. You think Carnot first and uh, you understand or you know that uh, you will find in these institutes uh, industry standards, uh, uh, first uh, class uh, scientific uh, experience and expertise and uh, uh, people who are very open discussing with you on how we can together cr create uh, added value uh, around our projects. Uh -huh.